we're gonna read this awesome story because I've always, you know, I've always wanted to know how to do origami, but my fingers feel like they're too big to do the folding, but that's not necessarily true because practice makes perfect. And I think that that's the lesson we're gonna learn in this book called Morigami. Morigami. Who's the author? Hmm. Dory Clever. Dory Clever. That's the author. That's the person that wrote Morigami. This is a really awesome story. Morigami. Title page. Morigami. Joey loved things that folded. He collected old road maps. He played the accordion. He slept in a foldaway bed. He definitely likes things that fold. One day, Sarah Takimoto's mother came to school. She took a plain piece of paper. She folded it and flipped it and pulled it until it became a crane. A crane. That's an awesome crane. Joey's eyes popped, his jaw dropped. Miss Takimoto called it origami. I make origami, Joey told her. Will you teach me? I can show you the folds, she said. But if you want to become an origami master, you'll need practice and patience. Practice and patience. You guys all know that that's a big rule in art. Joey started that afternoon. He practiced on his notebook paper and on the construction paper from the art show. But even his simple shapes were crooked and crumpled. But he did not give up. He did not give up. So he practiced on his homework. And on the newspaper. And on his sister's sheet music. And he practiced on all of the gift wrap. And on the recipe for Aunt Vivian's pineapple surprise. He, he folded everything in the house up. I don't know. And on the $38 in mom's purse. <laughs> mom, mom was like, $38? I don't think so. This folding has to stop, said mom. Joey dropped and he drooped. How would he ever become an origami master without practice? He went next door to Muy Mexicana. Fajitas were always made him feel better. Fajitas would always make me feel better too. I love fajitas. Joey! Mr. Lopez say. Hey, what's wrong? It takes practice and it takes patience to be an origami master, Joey said. But whenever I practice, everybody else loses their patience. Many artists are misunderstood, amigo, said Mr. Lopez. Especially when they are just learning. What's that? Mr. Lopez asked, pointing to Joey's napkin. A pyramid, said Joey. Sorry. No, don't apologize. Mr. Lopez said. I like it. It makes the table look fancy. Favorite word. Could you make more? Joey grinned. I can make a hundred. He's like, yeah, I get to fold the world. So Joey folded and folded and folded until pyramids perched on every table in the restaurant. Each day after school, Joey went back to Muy Mexicana. He folded napkins into fans, he made candlesticks, then he tried crowns. Some napkins toppled, others flopped, but Joey kept folding until they were perfect. He did not give up. He kept folding until they were perfect. Finally, he was ready to try the most difficult fold of all. He took a crisp nap. He folded. He flipped. He pulled. It, it worked. It, it, a crane. A He was an origami master. Just then, a girl walked in. She was waving a paper fan. Her eyes popped. 
Her jaw dropped. Did you make that? She said. Joey nodded. I can show you how, said Joey. But I should warn you, it takes practice. Lots of patience. We are going to learn how to fold a beautiful origami butterfly. I love this book because this book teaches you practice makes perfect. You have to have patience if you want to learn something that you think might be difficult. So I know a lot of you guys want to learn how to draw anime characters. But when you look at someone else draw and you're like, oh my God, how did they draw that? I don't know how to draw that. It's because they've been practicing. Instead of playing video games, they've been practicing drawing. They've been practicing. Okay, so in order to get good at anything, you have to practice it every single day. It has to be something that you naturally want to always do. And then eventually you'll realize, I'm great. I'm a master at whatever it is. So let's get to the project that's connected with Morigami. I just love this little boy. He's so cute. He's so cute. He reminds me of my son when he was little, especially with this hair. This is a little round, chunky face. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so that was an awesome story. Morigami. Now let's make a little simple origami of our own. I love bugs. I love insects. So like I said, we're going to make a ladybug. Um, I'm going to make my ladybug. The wings are going to be bejeweled. Anyhow, um, first thing we need to do is create a perfect square. How are we going to create a perfect square? You're going to take the corner of your paper, and you can use any kind of paper. Like in the story, newspaper, napkins, any kind of paper. He was using any kind of paper. You know what I'm saying? Any kind of paper. Newspaper, napkins, paper bags, whatever. Okay. Now we're going to take this corner, and we're going to pull it up here. That's how we're going to create. I want to create a smaller square than this, so I'm gonna, we're just going to do this twice. So I folded it. Now I'm going to fold this back. You don't have to fold this back. You can easily just cut off this tab. I just folded that so that I can see where to cut. So for this project, though, you're going to need scissors, paper, and any color sh um, sharpies or crayons or colors that you need. That's all you need. So I'm cutting this off to create a perfect square. So you should have a strip that looks like this and a square. See what I did? I just cut that piece off. This is still too big for me. I still want a smaller ladybug. So I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, first step. Step one is now you have your paper like this. We folded it. Let's turn it so it looks in front of me like a diamond. I see a diamond and I see the first fold like this. Cameraman, you might have to come like get, like not too close, just up so that we can see all these folds. So I folded it like this. This looks like a diamond. Now I'm going to fold this down. Okay. Now it looks like this. Now the next step is to take each corner and just fold it down so that a little bit of the tip is on the end here. You see that? So you had it like this. First you had it like this. Then you folded this part down. Now it looked like this. Then you take this corner and you folded it down straight so that some of the tip is hanging off. And then you do the same thing over here. You take that end and you're folding it down so some of the tip hangs off so it looks like that. Next step is for you to flip it to the back. You're gonna take this point, you're gonna fold it all the way to the middle. And if you can't tell what the middle is, you can always make a dot, there's my middle. And I'm going to pull this down like that. Then you're gonna flip it to the other side. So we've got this, we've got this. Now we're gonna pull this up so that it, see that, so this was down. We're gonna take this point and pull it up. Make sure that a piece of the corner, the tip, is hanging off. You want that tip to be hanging off. And now we have, our ladybug. We are going to use Okay, so I want to just make sure you can use um you get like I said you can use a, a glue stick. I just want this to hold down. I'm going to count it to 10. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Yay! Now, let's put a little bit. I just want to make sure that the head here is correct. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I have my ladybug. You guys did really good. I know you got this. Don't, make sure you rewind if you need to. This is, um, this is, this may be simpler for others, but for most people, origami is pretty hard. Like for myself, origami is hard. Here we go. I'm gonna just make some ladybug circles. One circle there. Cause we know ladybugs, their spots are not all, necessarily all the same. Right? I'm gonna go the extra mile here. 
I'm gonna put some eyes. I got, so I'm gonna use some of my bejeweled items to really make my butterfly come alive. And so, I want you to do the same. I'm adding eyes, I'm not gonna add green eyes. I'm going to add, ooh, I'm gonna add some pearly eyes. So that I've got, I've got, look, I've got pearls. I've got pearls, like from out of a treasure chest. Okay, so, here we go. There's one eye, hey. Whoa. We always have to really do it big when we're doing this type of paper stuff. There's eyes. I'm going to put two little, two little, little diamonds. I want the diamonds to be the same, the same. I'm, I'm just being like that this, this morning. I'm cold too. You guys, are you cold? I'm freezing. That's why I have on this scarf. You definitely ain't cold. Don't even try to act like you cold. You hot. You almost burned me. Need to get, let me wear your jacket. He's so, so selfish. He said no. No? Okay, here we go. I be jeweled so that when my butterfly flies around, you can see the wings shine. <laughs> I think that's just wonderful. Butterflies fly. Oh, good luck. Oh, I just got scared of the way. Morigami. Morigami. 